Hello, I'm OBX Toycat, and this is Q&A SAS Day, the weekly series around on my channel where I answer your questions that have been asked over the past week or so on the channel. These tend to be mostly about the next Minecraft console update, given that we did just have one and people are curious about the next one and stuff, but also about anything people have when it asks me about life of the universe, and honestly, in this case, it is mostly TU59 slash TU60, the next Minecraft console update. So hopefully you do all enjoy this video. You can like it if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do enjoy this kind of, like, again, answers of stuff to the future. But with that said, let's get straight into the first question, which comes in from Kyle Weesey Shuhen, who says, will, would the new boss be added to all editions of Minecraft, especially the PS3 and PS4? So, presumably you have a PlayStation player here who's curious, like, will I get the new boss mob? And the answer to this question is, I think, almost certainly. Yeah, they're trying to, whenever there's a new huge thing like this they're announcing for Minecraft, they want to make sure it comes to, at the very least, you know, Minecraft and Minecraft Java, but presumably they want to make sure it comes to Minecraft on the console not too shortly afterwards, because bear in mind the last update, uh, it was actually Minecraft console edition which got concrete first, because they've been announced all these other platforms and they've been in uh, snapshots and it'll be coming out soon. Uh, but they try to make sure a lot of these big features that they just want people to celebrate come out at roughly the same time on all platforms. So the answer to your question is yes, it will be added to all editions, especially PS3 and PS4. Don't worry, PS3 and P PS4 guys, and indeed every other Minecraft console platform, you will get the new boss mob. It might be a little bit later, but it will be coming within, you know, some time period of it coming out on PC. There is going to be a new boss on the console edition, and I'm really excited for that because I want a new challenge in my Minecraft world. So let's move on to the second. Uh, question which comes in from Carrie Philip Swick who says uh, not to you 60 but where is the new Minecraft for Switch I need it so to answer your question the Minecraft for Switch uh, so basically they wanted to release Minecraft on the new consoles right and they're like okay so we're gonna take our existing edition release it there instead of the existing one and they only had to release the Xbox One edition because they had a console coming out they had this big beta and they had promised that it'd be coming out before like the end of summer so they pushed it to the very last date they could but they released Minecraft Xbox One because they had no other options however the because the Switch edition of the game had no such promises, there's no beta players, there's none of this, uh, like, you know, two edition nonsense going on. Instead of the Switch, they're going to wait until the game is stabilized, till it's caught up, till it's, like, working correctly, and that might take us some time. We have no update on it yet. Again, we're, like, mi almost midway through November now, and we have no update on it. I imagine they're aiming for before the end of the year, but it wouldn't surprise me if this ended up going into January or something like that. So, although, uh, you know, you're, although you're, you might be excited about the new Minecraft version, you probably can expect it in the next two months months. It might surprise come out of nowhere, you know, sometime in the next week or something, uh, but I would predict, based on the fact that we've heard nothing, not even a release date, not even an announcement, uh, I would imagine it will be coming somewhere near the next update, the 1.3 update, which we actually haven't heard too much about. But again, this all changes at Minecon next week, next Saturday, exciting times. But just so you know, that's when we know when we know, and I know it's confusing to talk about when we know when we know when we know, but that's what we're doing in today's video. So with that said, let's go into the third question, which comes in from Fun Flake Tech, who says, do you think they will ever update the old Xbox version again, like an update to catch up once or twice a year. So, uh, Fun Flake Tech, okay, so this is the sort of thing where people are going to be like, oh, this is controversial and I hate everything, but this is just the kind of truth about how the Microsoft business works, how the Minecraft business works. So, basically, they upgraded the Minecraft on the Xbox because they want you to play the new version. There's a billion reasons as to why they want you to play the old version, but the reason they stopped updating the old one is because they don't want any encouragement of you playing the old Minecraft Xbox One edition. In their head, the only edition you should be playing is new Minecraft on Xbox. Officially, they're saying you can go back and play at any time but if you go in there there's a huge message that pops up and says are you sure you don't really playing new Minecraft so that's the reason they're not doing updates you know they're making updates for all the other versions but they're not releasing them on Xbox because they want you to play their new version and although I really don't like this tactic personally it's something that's happening you know we can't like fight it and you know, there's no way to, there's nothing we can really do about that besides okay if you're playing the old Xbox version bear in mind it won't be updated ever there's never going to be an incentive for them to update it because they make more money on the new version and they want you on the new version version and that's just Minecraft as a whole that's going to be the you know the further forward version in no time and that is why they can't do updates you might think uh, you know like this question seems to come from a space of like oh yeah well they're not updating it because money or something but no they if they updated it then they'd give you a reason to go back and play it they want people who play the new version to stick playing the new version and that is why that's the case again that sounds really cynical but that's kind of how you know it's, it's pretty clear that's how things are uh, from the business side of things so let's move to the fourth question which comes in from Rob who says if uh, or Rob Cat who says if T60 brought new blocks to the Xbox 360 edition, then would you, what would you think would happen when you transfer a save to the Xbox One? So this is a save transfer process you might not be familiar with if you don't play Xbox uh, or you don't play the PS3, PS4, or if you've only ever played one generation of consoles, i.e. it be the latest or the oldest, but there's a way to transfer your saves across from the 360, the PS3, and the Wii U to the, uh, the One, the PS4, and the Switch, respectively. However, because the One isn't receiving updates, as I just said, they're not going to be updating it, presumably, uh, then how are they going to deal with those new blocks? 
blocks. So bear in mind, we actually have a precedent for this. So let's say T60 does bring you blocks. That's probably the anticipation, you know, the plan they're going for. Um, then that means that those blocks, uh, you know, the 360 will be ahead of the uh, one in terms of pure survival features for those pure survival worlds. So Apart even says that's why they didn't do any survival updates in the last update, so they could keep that working as it is right now. But to directly answer your question, we do have a precedent actually. If there, if the 360 is ahead of your Xbox One, just because you haven't updated your one yet or something like that, when you try to update it, it says like save file is from an incompatible version, and presumably that might end up happening with the Xbox One unless they release an update just to handle the save file transferring. Or more likely, in my opinion, is eventually what they'll end up doing. You know, after like a few months have passed or like after the next update comes out, presumably they're going to have to address this. They're going to make a way to transfer your saves directly from the 360 to the uh, brand new Xbox One version, or the the one I'm really not look at, you know liking the idea of because it seems counterintuitive. But they might even just stop you transferring your save files at all. Again, that depends because you got to bear in mind we're asking uh, like uh, the Minecraft Bedrock team. The they're set and they're in America, Washington. You're asking a team in America and Washington to make a feature for a game which was developed by 4J Studios, you know, years ago, and they make the money on whatever. Uh, you can see how there could be some overlap, and you know it couldn't go perfectly. Uh, my hope though is that they'll do one of the more logical solutions than that, and there should always be a way to transfer from your 360. That has to be in Minecraft's interest, and I again I doubt anyone from Minecraft watches these videos. It's it's clear, but um you know just in case someone was, I would say keep updating the 360 and making sure that it can transfer because otherwise people won't have any incentive to one buy an Xbox One, which you want them to do by the way because you're Microsoft, and two they won't have any incentive to play the new Minecraft, which is again also what you want. So yeah, I imagine that last option won't come into place, but bear in mind it is one of the possibilities. But we'll have to wait and see. So thank you for your question. Let's move into the fifth one, which comes in from Suleiman Abdo, who says, Q&A, do you actually like minigame updates or do you get sick of them? So here is my honest thoughts and honest opinions. I never really get an uh, you know, opportunity to express it like this. So I'm going to like try and just get it all out there. But when it comes to minigame updates, I love them so much. When Battle first came out, it was one of the most fun times I've had with Minecraft console. Um, you know, like it's, my, it, it's still to this day one of my favorite things. Uh, Tumble, I really did like, but uh, you know, that's a thing. And also Glide, I had a lot of fun with. However, minigame updates seem to polarize the community, and I think in terms of like what you, the viewers, think, it seems to just get demolished on YouTube. Like in terms of like what do people think about minigame updates, people hate Tumble. Like it is a dramatic how much people hate Tumble. I have no idea why or how, but like if you look at viewer numbers on any Tumble video, it's just trash to the ground. Like you know, one third the normal, one half the normal. Um, you know, Slide is like a, a few people get on board with Battle. Uh, some number of people like, but people in general, the community, you guys watch hate the minigame updates. So we're in this weird kind of like, you know, uh, divide where some number of you obviously like minigame updates. I like minigame updates, but it's not for me as the kind of like almost like the, 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 the head of the channel, the figurehead of the, you know, the small community we have here. I think it's important for me to then voice that we shouldn't get another minigame update. I think it's important that 4J knows that the community, or at least most of the community, does not care about minigames in the slightest. And um, again, maybe, maybe they know, maybe they don't know. I, I'm not certain, but that's that's why I'm, I like might seem like I have mixed opinion. I love minigame updates, but because the community doesn't, I want to make sure that again, I, 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 I kind of work that into like what I'm really excited for because I get more excited when you get excited. That's why like, oh yeah, the next big T60 update, that really excites me. Whereas, you know, these minigame updates, I loved it. I had so much fun with it, but everyone else is just like, oh, it's a minigame update. My life is ruined. And honestly, when it comes to the news videos, when it comes to keeping you updated, it's, it's about my opinion, but it's also about what the community thinks. It's about, you know, how this update is really realistically going to go down because whether you like it or whether you don't like it, it's important to get an idea of what people think about this sort of thing. And again, in general, more people don't like minigame updates than do like them. And everyone likes, you know, the survival updates. Everyone's going to like those new boss mobs. Everyone's going to like those new mobs. Everyone's going to like whatever else, you know, new blocks, whatever else comes. People are going to love that update a lot more than they like minigame updates. And therefore, it's my responsibility to tell you more about it, to make you care more about it, or to show you more about it because I know you care more. And that might sound confusing, but hopefully, it made some sense and doesn't seem hypocritical in some way. But yeah, there you go. That's why I have like a love-hate relationship with minigame updates. So let's move on to the sixth question, which comes in from Gustavo Arujo, who says, I Arujo, Arujo, who says, I am a Brazilian and I like your videos, man. So first of all, sorry for butchering your name and thank you for watching the videos or liking the videos even. It's really appreciated. And also I just want to quickly clarify, it really shocks me because it might, sh it, so it might shock some of you too, that like I have viewers from every single country around the world with like three or four exceptions. Like technically there's a North Korean viewer, but I doubt anyone in North Korea is keeping up with their Minecraft console updates. So uh, yeah, there's like technically North Korean viewers, but I doubt they're from North Korea. But I have like Chinese viewers, I have Brazilian viewers apparently, like Brazil, that's like all the way over there. And I think that's so cool. Uh, so to you, Gustavo, and to anyone else who watches 
it's from anywhere that's not like, you know, like, in my head, it used to always just be like, well, people from the US watch me because they're like, oh, he's got a British accent. I love that. People from Britain watch me because they're like, oh, he speaks like us a little bit. I love that. And maybe some other English speaking countries. Uh, but it's really cool when I realize like, oh, yeah, China, Brazil, uh, you know, Germany, Turkey, like all these crazy, they're not far off like all of them. But still, it's, it's, it's fascinating to learn. And if you're from a far off country, then I think it's cool that you watch these videos. And I'm sorry if I just called your country a far off country. So with that said, let's move on to the next question next question which comes in from Casey who says Q what are your plans for Minecon Earth I'm gonna go to a big viewing party in a bigger city near me or a viewing party in a big city uh, it might not be a big viewing party but presumably because it's a big city it's a big viewing party anyway so to answer your question uh, what am I gonna be doing for Minecon Earth I am probably going to go uh, so there is a Minecon viewing party at this huge arena in London somewhere but like they invited like officially a whole bunch of youtubers and as you all know the Minecraft team stopped like you know like uh, inviting me to this sort of stuff because I may uh, you know I actually like talked out that like, wait, you're just replacing this version, whereas they told everyone else, like, here's the positive script, just say these things or don't say anything. Uh, you know, because of that, like, they don't like to invite me to things, and therefore it'd be a bit, bit awkward, I think. Like, all the people I know that are going are gonna be at, like, the private party, which I can't get to, because that whole thing. But yeah, I might I might go, like, just, like, as a person, like, meet some subscribers, say hi, say, oh, watch the thing live, uh, and then head home. But the one thing you gotta keep in mind, the one problem, is that I wanna stream this, or I wanna show it to you as soon as it is done, so I think what I'd have to end up doing is, like, leave early or something like that. So, yeah, I'll, uh, Eva, I'm gonna like go to the London one, the big, there's only one uh, viewing party in the whole of the UK, I think it's just in London. Uh, I might go to that one and you know, let me know if you're going there in the comments down below, I guess. Uh, but uh, what I'm considering doing more is like a way cooler option would be just to, you know, stream and then show it with all of you, like do a live viewing party kind of thing. And I th I I'd enjoy that personally, so I'll probably end up doing that, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Like it's, it's like a week away, you know, anything could happen in the time between now and then, like I could, you know, magically everyone I know is going or like, I could die before then, or like I could lose my hands before then, or it could turn out that like the event is at my house and this bigger London arena is actually my house. You know, there's there's a billion opportunity, alternative opportunities. None of them actually make any sense that I just listed, but you know, you get the point. Uh, we'll see what I do. So yeah, I, I, I kind of want to go to the London one, but I haven't heard anyone who's actually going to that yet, besides like, again, the YouTubers that Minecraft invited. So with that said, let's go on to the uh, eighth question, which comes in from the Froggy Fellow, who says, you mentioned that Java team releases updates really slowly. What do you think takes them so long? So. Uh, uh, they only really started going slow as of 1.7 on the PC. So it was something like, you know, an update every three to four months, just non-stop since like the game release. Like they were doing a really good steady release flow. They released horses and that was kind of a nuts thing. And then suddenly it started taking them a year per update. Like in 20, again, I got the years messed up last week. I'm sorry. I think it was like in 2012, there was one update. It was 1.7 or like there was one, up, you know, it was, there was only one update in like six or eight months or something. Then in one, uh, you know, 2013, it was like, oh yeah, one update the entire year, 1.8. And then there was no updates 2014 and then like again it took it's basically it took them like 16 months to make one update and I think the big reason is they were bought by Microsoft and I think you gotta bear in mind when there's programmers on a game that are only only a few of them by the way like three or four programmers uh, apart you know some of them probably got demotivated because of the uh, Microsoft acquisition maybe they had to do like a whole bunch of like Microsoft stuff and you know for, I, I assume the big reason they slowed down is because they lost a bit of motivation then the game got sold and they lost all their motivation and honestly once they released the game I don't know if they thought they would kind of have to update it forever and you know maybe it took them a year to realize yep we're just going to keep on updating this game forever and ever and ever and ever and because of that i think they update a bit slower now which is interesting and that's just what they do though so yeah let's move on to the next question shall we which comes in from the tanner hostrad on twitter so uh since the c he has caught up to je uh, as in console edition and job edition do you think that will go on its own feature track like blocks mobs biomes of its own or do you think it would, would focus more on developing realms mods and things that improve the infrastructure of the game and how is your breakfast so first of all, I recognize you from like many years back to Anahostrad. It's cool that like, again, there's some people who have been around since the really early days. And back in those early days of Minecraft, we used to really think, you know, 4G are gonna catch up with the PC version eventually. We didn't assume it only take like, you know, this, you know, it happened a lot sooner than we figured. So they caught up with the PC version and now we're there now, right? So what are they gonna do? Are they gonna make their own custom mobs? I don't think so. So I think, again, this, I, I hope this isn't like a criticism of Microsoft. Again, I think what they're doing in Microsoft, that Minecraft, they think they have a plan for it and I'm sure that plan's great. So again, I'm not gonna criticize that in any way, but I think what their plan is here is to try and make features come out for all Minecraft versions at the same time. I think they were really confused by the fact that like, oh yeah, Woodland Mansions come out on PC, then, you know, Pocket Edition users get excited three months later, then, you know, Console Edition users get excited four months later. You know, I don't think they like that system. I think they wanna do big PR pushes for these same features at all places, all time. And I think because of that, we probably will just keep seeing stuff that comes out for Java will come out for the same time on the Console Edition in the future. Again, we don't really know yet, like after this, this year's earlier up 
updates, all the rule books about what we know about future Minecraft console updates, they all went out the window because, you know, again, we, we've never seen this position before, but that's what I do think. I don't think they're gonna make their own blocks, mobs, and biomes because, again, you gotta bear in mind that 4J is kinda like a independent contractor in some ways. They have like permissions to mess with Minecraft, but not quite the same uh, permissions that obviously you do if you're the Mojang themselves or if you're the Minecraft uh, Redmond team. So yeah, that's the answer to your question. And my breakfast was pretty good, which actually brings me into my final question, which comes in from Flying Tacos, who says, Q&A, what did you have for breakfast? Today I had toast. So, okay, uh, following my breakfast trend, this is a classic Toy Cat question, and my breakfast thoughts has been evolving over time. So I've been having porridge a lot recently. I don't know if that's a British thing or not, but like oats, I think, you know, like you mix them with milk and you microwave it, and it, it turns into a really nice meal. So it's a really like, you know, like oaty breakfast or something normally. However, I've realized that when you put sugar in there, you usually put like a spoonful of sugar. If you put like three spoonful of sugars instead, it turns into dessert for breakfast. So yeah, I've been I've been having dessert for breakfast, but officially it's a breakfast food and it makes me look like an adult. Like, wow, porridge, that's a really, that's a hearty breakfast to start the day. But really, I've just been having dessert for breakfast. So yeah, with that said, hope you'll enjoy this week's Q&A Saturday. Like if you did like it, share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos and things like that every single day on this channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. The live streams have temporarily stopped because I'm in Iceland as this goes live and I cannot live stream from a country so far away. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.